Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use if, else if, and else statements. Alright, let's get started. There are two ways to do this. It's either using user input, aka scanner, or we, we can just make a variable without the user input. Alright, let's do both. But first, let's do let's use a variable so you beginners will have a better idea before adding more features into if and else and else if statements. All right, let's ask the user how old they are. If they're below the age of 18, then they're not even welcome to this program. But if they are equal to yeah, if their age is equivalent to 18 or higher, then they are welcomed. All right. Well, now let's make the following syntax if. Make sure you have your open parentheses and type in the variable inside the parentheses age. So the computer will know that if the, yeah, so the computer will know that you want to compare the, the value for the age. If their age is below 18, then the, comp the computer will determine by the following syntax that I'm about to type. All right, let's do age equals. You have to include two equal sign right here. The reason why is because there are many functions to add to this equal sign, like this. This is this mirror. Yeah, this right here means not equals, and this right here means greater than or equals to. This right here means less than or equals to, etc. But for now, let's use. Uh, if age is greater or equals to 18, that w that's what we need to find out. If you have multiple lines to write for this, for the only the, only an if statement, or if you're gonna make else if statements, if multiple lines, then it's necessary to have two curly braces. But if you're gonna only make one, then it's not necessary to add those two. Let's omit those two and let's write our code. Alright. If H is greater than or equals to 18, let's say they're welcome to this program. Alright, let's do I welcomed I welcome you to this program. Alright, then let's use else. Alright, well, we're going to have to add a yeah, parentheses right here. So you can see that we, like right here for this function, rewrite if it's greater than, if h is greater than or equal to 18, then yeah, we'll output this. But if it's not greater than or equal to 18, then it'll assume that you're a minor, like you're 17 or something like that. So I'll put that function right there. System dial that print line. You are a minor. Get out. All right. Well, now let's run it. Let's do Java C. In Java. All right. Well, it's right right here. Since like pretend this is a user input and I set a value 18 for this variable and then it says that I'm equivalent to 18 or greater than then it should output this right here but if it's lower than 18 then it should output this you are a minor get out we type in this in so you can see in the CMD screen you're a minor get out yeah that sounds right all right. Let's say that we we want to add else if statement. You can add that function a limited amount as you prefer. Make sure you have a parenthesis for that though, because it's like having two s. It kind of is two s really. And then you say if age is uh, greater than or equals to twenty one, 
then say say hmm. you almost a grown person you're almost grown person make sure you don't forget your quotes like I almost did right there all right well since it since we have greater than or equal to for the age 18 right here it will run this instead of this if you type in 21 because basically you're saying you you told yeah you told the computer that if anything is equivalent to 18 or higher than 18 and it can go a limited amount like numbers like it can go up to age of 120 then we'll run this instead of this uh, well let's solve the solution by adding an and statement or syntax and this following syntax is two percents it means n let's say if age is less than 21 All right, well, it should run this if you type in 21 or higher. Let's save that. Java C, Java. Oh, yeah, I forgot to change it. I'm 21. You're almost a grown person. All right, let's say I'm 20. Save that. Type in uh, CLS to clear the CMD screen so you can have a better viewing of your CMD. Let's compile it. Run. I welcomed you to this program. All right. It seems right. It is right. All right. Now let's let's use char. Hold on, give me a sec right here because someone just walked through my door. Well, I'm sorry about that, y'all. It was my sister that walked in through the door. Or walk, yeah. Well, you get the idea. Uh, well, let's get back on track. Alright, um. Oh, yeah, let's use char. And then. Make sure you have a single quote. And let's answer yes or no question. All right, let's do if yeah, ants is equivalent to yes. If you answer yes to this question, this blank question, then it should run this. I'm not going to change the output because that will waste time and I might see the limits of YouTube. So by saving time, I'm not going to change that. Yeah, if you answer yes, then this should output. And then let's change the variable for this. Ants equals. If the answer no, then it sh it should uh run this code right here. But if they answer anything else, then they should run this. And I will be typing invalid uh, input. But since I'm not gonna do that, let's save that and just run it or compile and run. I welcome you to this page. That seems right. Let's say if you want to answer L. Drop C. You don't mind to get out. See? And I'll put it this one right here. But if the user input, like, if they input like an uppercase, then let's type in or statement or syntax. And the following syntax is those, are those two pipelines. That means or, and type in ants equals yes, the uppercase. All we're gonna do it here, but let's save time. All uh, right, seems right. And let's run it. Let's clear the screen first. Okay, I forgot to add an S for this variable. Don't do that. Yeah, they'll make the same mistake like I did. Okay, no errors. All right, good. I welcome you to this page. All right, see? Wait, wait, wait. 
Yeah, see, it works good. Forgot to do this actually. Um. Yeah, it works good. All right, now let's add a string, which is more complicated than using any data types. Let's ask the user their names, and I'll be typing my name. If they type in the same name as mine, then they'll say, "If you have the same name as me right here, then say, "Hey, we got the same name." All right, well, let's make sure to delete that and type in with a double quote and John. And also, two equal sign won't work because that's not even possible at all. The only way can e equivalent or equal to a variable to a string is this following syntax right here. It equals. Make sure you have your open and close parentheses. And do the same thing over here. Equals. Say lowercase John. Make sure the double quotes. Open close parentheses. Alright, it should be good. Alright, well this right here, same thing. Do Jack. Alright, well let's run it. If you don't have either of those name like if you type in a different name like Joanna, then it will output this. But if you type in the same name over here like John, then it will output this. But if you do Jack, then it should be output here. And let's output that by using CMD. I uh, welcome you to this program. All right, that's right. Uh, well, to save time. I'm not gonna do Jack for the output. So yeah. Or I don't have a scanner yet, I forgot about that. Alright, well, let's, let's do a scanner right now. So I can hurry up right now. Import java.util scanner. Let's make a user input variable scanner. Let's do kb. Uh, yeah, news scanner dot syst wait system dot in yeah make sure you close it off the semicolon since the user will be typing a value for this the ants then let's delete the value that we already have right here all right well well now the user oh wait forgot we have to yeah we have to ask the user questions so they will know what to input let's do What's your name? Your name. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> uh, let's do ants equals kb dot next line. We're dealing with string here, so yeah. Type in next line. Alright, now let's save that. Oh, yeah. Well, once the user have their value for their value, uh, yeah, their value over here. Then, yeah, the else and the if else statements will will find out. Well, let's do that right now. See, let's do clear screen. Let's compile it and run it. All right, my name is John. I welcome to this program. Yep, and I'll put it in the right line right here. Let's rerun it. What's your name, Joanna? Alright, well, since we don't have, like, if it's equals to Joanna, and I don't have that, then it should run this, and the computer is correct. Well, this concludes my tutorial over if, else if, and else statements. For my next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use switch case statement. It's similar to else and the if statements, or, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.